everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicole. If you're old, welcome back. And uh, th welcome to all my new subscribers. I know I've acquired a lot of y'all, a few from Twitter, from Jen Loves Reviews. I love that she put it out there. If you have, if you're one of these in danger being demonetized, like put your link and you know, y'all support each other and all that. I, I like that. Um, so I've gained about 30 the past couple days, but so thank you for that and Anna Banana's channel and all her live chats, like us getting on there and just venting and talking. Um, so yeah, it's been nice. I don't, even if I make the minutes, I don't know. I have so many subscribers to get to a thousand. I'm like, that wasn't even a goal this year. Y'all see, y'all will see like my YouTube beauty, YouTube and beauty resolutions tag videos coming. That wasn't even a goal for this year. And now it has to be. And uh, I don't know about YouTube, but <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm trying to, um, I have an old PC program. I'm still an XP at work. So like, and it runs slow and it likes to freeze. It's, it's crap. So I, I try to have another tab open that I can get out of in case my bosses walk by and stuff. Like, but I have like your videos playing and I'll, I'll go peek. I can't usually listen on volume. That's why I love it when y'all have captions. Like some people, most people, most of us I think have the captions available. Uh, so I can at least like with read what you're saying at times or look at stuff. So I've been doing that and trying to get at least like three videos here and there for everybody. Um, you know, try and get y'all your minutes that you need. I know I need about two, almost 200,000. It's probably a little, it's less than that now. But yeah, that's, that's a lot. 4,000 hours. But that's not what this video is about. Even though I've wasted like a little over a minute about that. That's not what this video is about. I'm so excited because look what I got in the mail. My boxy charm came in finally. Still no word on Ipsy, which I think shipped out before boxy charm and Sephora Play. But we did have snow and ice, so Lord knows what happened to that. And opening it up, you do get the card, which tells you exactly what's in the box and the prices on the back, which I appreciate. But I love this theme, The Rock 2018. Y'all don't know. Y'all, I mean, look at, if you read, like, my bio on Twitter and, um, Instagram, it says, I am a rock chick. Um, uh, that's basically what I listen to. Variations of soft rock at work and then, you know, rock. And uh, even Christian rock, y'all gotta give Christian rock a chance if you, if you like rock music. Skillet. Red. Awesome bands. Um, red actually goes metal sometimes, or almost metal. Uh, but I am like the chick in front of the stage in the mosh pit. Even though I don't like people touching me, <laughs> I'm like in the mosh pit. I can handle those bit. So I haven't been to like I've been to festival like or like you know things that last a couple of days, but we don't camp out at them or I don't. So, uh, so yeah, <laughs> I am a rock chick. So I like this thing. It's awesome. All right, and the first thing that's in the box is the Dr. Brandt, which I love, Luminizing Primer Pores No More. And this retails for $38 and it is edged one ounce. Okay, I have a little sample of this. I will tell you what, I have not used it. I hauled it from Ulta a little while ago. It was like a free gift with purchase thing. Uh, when Dr. Brandt went on sale, what was that? What's that sale? They had a sale. I don't know. Um, it might have been like right before Christmas. <laughs> but I still haven't used it. You want to know why? I am trying to pay in this. I was trying to pay in it all last year. Like last year I went hard. Like except for like a couple other little samples that I got like in Sephora that might have made my favorites or ill nose, you know? Like this is what I was using like for most of my face except for like my nose, which I'll get to in a minute. I still have that much, and that's probably like a couple weeks worth still, because <laughs> a little bit of this goes very far, and this is like an illuminating base, like primer thing, uh, from NYX. I think it's like thirteen ninety nine, twelve ninety nine, something like that. Could be fifteen ninety nine. I don't know. But anyway, I have a feeling it's like that. But it's like I made it a goal because I actually hauled after I had a sample of the Becca, and I did pretty much use that up or use most of it, um, one month. Like it almost lasted me a month. It lasted at least two, three weeks. Um, but I hauled like the full size Becca one. I was like, no, I'm going to use the rest of this NYX because I bought that NYX a long time ago. It's probably like a year old or older. 
Um, so I was trying to make myself a pan this stupid thing. <laughs> Oh, and I've been wearing it every day. I haven't even really used a sample of any other primer. So, this is all skin types. Apply on clean, moisturized skin. Use alone for a natural bounce of light on the skin or under makeup to prep your skin for a flawless application AM and PM. non comogenic All right. Now, the thing is, Dr. Brandt is not cruelty-free. So, depending on your stance on that. Okay, that's what that looks like. It actually... I don't know what scent that is. I, I wash my hands pretty much. So I don't know if that's that or that. But I did bring this. I'm still ch trying to pan this one because I got a full size of this during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty in the Fall. I'm still trying to pan this sucker. And you know, I only use this on my nose and chin area. This is the Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. Just the regular one. Uh, it minimizes the look of pores, absorbs oil, and mattifies shine. It's it's not very mattifying. It's a little bit. I would say it helps a little bit, but it does actually like, I have like more like, for some reason, clog pore situation on my nose constantly. That's just the way they are. <laughs> they always look that way. Um, and even on my chin, I don't know. It's just like kind of like blackheads or something. Okay. That's what that, that one looks like. It's like darker and like tell more matte, but we'll rub it out. And I lost the lid. I mean, it looks like it's going to give color, but it really just kind of rubs into your skin. Okay, that's what the matte one looks like. Now it smells like pepperminty, kind of. All right, this is what the illuminating one looks like. Okay, yeah. And you'll see the difference. It does illuminate. It's very, like, silky, almost silicone-y. I don't know. But that silicone kind of rubs away, but... It does feel very silky. Well, this one feels mattifying. I like it more for what it does for my pores. It really smooths out the clogness and makes them not <laughs> clogged and like stuff. And it helps a little bit, but I've had more mattifying primers. Like the NARS one is like my favorite, <laughs> but I've only had a sample of that. So I only ever use it every now and then. And, um, that Palladio rice paper one we got in Ricky's NYC a couple months ago was so good, but it breaks out my nose every time I use it. But daggum, am I not shiny at all all day. If y'all don't know, the only place I'm shiny is my nose. That's the only place I get oily is my nose. And not even like here where some people say, no, I don't get any oil there. I, I don't want, I kind of there, not really like maybe a little bit here, but it's like just this area, like this area is shiny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's oily. I'm like, eh. okay, moving on. I'm excited to try that if I ever pan this next. <laughs> it's going into something. Okay, the next product I'm going to pull out is this It Brow Power in Universal. It's Universal Top. Okay, y'all know how my feelings like the. I could look at that Winky Lux knew it was going to be too light. I know this is going to be too light, but they keep saying, oh, no, 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 no. Let's just press harder. Just press harder. I'm like, I can get away with a dark brown. I don't like it personally on camera. I don't think you can really tell, but personally, I prefer Ebony in the Anastasia, which is one shade away from granite or black in NYX. And what I do is like, I just like comb it through more over here. But I, I guess because it's like a cooler undertone or more neutral undertone, the black is and ebony, than like the dark brown is. It's just, I don't know. So, does have a nice spoolie. Okay, my brows aren't done. Y'all know I don't do them for work. I don't care. But he does brows around here where I live. So, <laughs> not really. So, but, but you know, I'm going to give this a chance. Wish it was like more like the micro brow and stuff. That is not like the micro brow. It's kind of like fat. We're going to try it because I, and no, don't worry, it won't go to waste. I will pass it along to a niece <laughs> that's a uh, dark blonde. <laughs> blonde, just light brown somewhere around there. Um, so, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Okay, that's. So, oh my gosh, would you look at this crap? And then, oh no, no. Okay, I am pressing hard. Like, it hurts. 
and it's all it is is brown. Maybe if you just need a little filling in with plus, I mean, like mine are there. They they just need a little. I was pressing hard. And I said, "Oh no no no! It works for everybody. It works for everybody." No, it doesn't. I didn't mean it sound Chinese. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Look at that crap. I was pressing hard. Look at this. Like me. Okay. That's as dark as I'm getting. Okay, how, who in their white mind would think that matches my brows? And technically, I'm supposed to be using, uh, according to the experts, or if you've ever watched this, how to match your eyebrow eyebrow color. I'm supposed to be using uh, the mm, brown, dark brown. Instead of ebony, they say, oh, only one type of skin tone and one type of eyebrow. Basically, they're putting on a woman of color, black person, whatever, whatever you want to call it, like a dark, very dark complected woman. Like, okay, with black eye. She, she was the only one there doing ebony. I'm like, no, <laughs> it doesn't fly with the half Mexican. No, no, mm -mm. but I figured I would try in case any of y'all kind of look like me. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of look like me. Oh my gosh. That is awful. It's like, it's Sienna. It's Sienna. Like, the true, like, brown Sienna crap. Ugh. I'm, like, gagging. That is even lighter than, hold on. I can get away with this one on camera. This is, this is the dark. Oh, no, this is the black. But it, I don't, I thought it was actually brown. Never mind. That's the color I normally go for. I don't like this pencil as much as my other ones. But, but, look. Like, you see, you see the difference? That's as hard as I could press into my hand, which kind of hurt. No. <laughs> if you are half Mexican or Mexican, I don't recommend it. I don't even recommend it if you can use dark brown. That is ridiculous. Oh. Okay. I knew that would make me mad. Why'd I do it? <laughs> Why'd I do it? Why? Nicole, why? Okay. Yeah, I don't like that pencil, but I just don't. I keep it in here in case I forget. <laughs> in case I forget to do my brows. Like, I'm hoping that crap's off. And it's not off. It's not off. It, seriously. Uh, universal, no. Girls, if you use black in your eyebrows and you like black in your eyebrows... And you don't even care for dark brown. No. Just just pass this along. There's a Facebook group or two you could join to sell what BoxyCharm items you do not use. Some of you even take them swatched. But, um, or, you know, give it in the giveaway. Or pass it along. My mom actually had eyebrows to speak of. I'd, uh, well, she has little ones. She has, like, really short ones that don't grow, like, long. Mm. Probably from like years of over plucking. I actually like she's too blind now. She's like far sighted, so she can't see up close. So when she comes by at work, if like my boss is not in, I work in a very small office. It's just me. Um, I have tweezers in my purse, and I'll just pluck in there and pluck him with a tissue and stuff while I'm at work helping her out. Ah. That's why I don't like this pencil. It's a little too soft for me. And big. And it doesn't have a spoolie. So, I messed up there. But you know what we're going to do? We're just going to do like this. <laughs> uh, okay. See, I don't like this thingy much. I mean, it will work if you have to work it. But I don't care for it. awful. See, I don't like that one. I don't like it. Go away. Here, the only good thing you're good for is your spoolie. So 
fully just comb better. Okay. Well, that's as good as that's getting for now. I knew that would make me mad. Don't call a shade universal. It's not universal. Did, did anybody think that looked good on me? No. Not that I'm saying this one's much better, but <laughs> oh, it's a little heavy. It's like a little too heavy. I like the micro brow way better. I mean, it's workable, but it's not like, you know. Favorite cups and kittens. All right. Moving on. <laughs> moving on, moving on, moving on. I am so, this is too cute. This is called the Glam Metals Palette by Crown. Crown, as far as I can tell, do not put carmine in anything. They do have talc, mica, and mineral oil, and dimethicone in this, and ethyl, hexyl palmitate, which is palm oil, I guess. Uh, but hey, no carmine, so I can use this entire palette, which I'm so excited about. This is what it looks like. Totally up my alley. The little mirror. These are the shades. And all of them are shimmered. This one's more of a satin. Uh, and then that's the black's matte. So, this has got a shimmer palette. Totally doable. Look, this will say R.I.P. to my... I actually like my eye makeup today. I've been wearing the... Um, Hold on, I brought it. I mean, I broke this back out because it's been about a year. Um, the Bomb Appetite. I just have so many eyeshadow palettes. So I brought this back out, and thing. This is one of the only palettes by the Bomb besides the Bomb Voyage Two. Um, that has the shade by shade or the shades that have carmine listed. Otherwise, it just says Carmine is all. So, the three I can't use are the three mattes. But I've been using the shimmers. And these aren't bad. Like, shimmer. These are the mostly the metallic ones. These aren't so bad. Uh, so, I just stayed away from these. Even in my crease. I can kind of work those in my crease if I wanted to. But I just let me. I don't want to have to worry about washing my brush. Because um, if they stay, like, above my eye, they're fine. Um, just, like, on my eyelid down. Uh. But, so, I've been working with these. I think I have a, a little bit of this, and then this color, and then that and outer V. So, I've been enjoying revisiting that palette. So, let's see if we can get it off to... Uh, without, like, moving my contact. I think that's too dry. Let's see. Some cellar water. Did y'all enjoy my It Cosmetics rant? And some reason, um, you know, I've tried their CC cream. It is full coverage. It runs orange on me so badly. Like, that I don't, even when I was tan, I didn't like it because it's so orange. I've tried it a couple times, like the medium, medium tan shade. I don't know. They're both orange. I'm like, eh. We not make one with a neutral undertone because it seems like a decent foundation if it would actually, you know, work. Remember, hello, boo. So, let's get into a look real quick if we can. I know this video is redonkulous long already been a minute since I've been able to try on the products because last month was the Tarte Mascara which is a good mascara it just smears everywhere on me I gave it away as a Christmas present though ah uh, so pfft. what are we going to do uh, I'm going to actually go with Glam Rock and I'm going to put that in my crease a little powdery same frame same frame Mm. 
I'm going to take Pop Rock and I'm going to put it underneath my brow bone. Just to see how shimmery that one is. Not too bad. Okay. My eyebrow over there. Okay. What happened to that brush? The <laughs> wet wild brush. I'm going to take Heavy Metal, which is this blue one. And go inner third. Wipe that off. Um, let's see what Rebel shows up or Rock On. Go Rock On. I just want to see how that shows up. Very gold. And this is a dry brush, so. Oh, okay. That's pretty. Okay. Maybe I should put that on the inner. I thought it was going to be darker than that blue. Nope. Oh well, only make it do what you want. <laughs> okay. I'm um, go for a smaller brush. Let's use the Jack and Hill purple. This brush has purple on it. I'm going to the Wicked, which is that dark brown right there. Go on the outside of this if I can. That shade, I get a lot of fallout. Like, a lot of fallout. That's very noticeable. Be the brush, but I guess that shade. Yeah, so be careful with that one. <laughs> I'll clean it up later. Uh, we need a pop of color because it's very bleh. I don't know what Lexi brush this is, but we're going to take punk over here, which is that really light gray blue up at the top. Put in the corner. What color that is? And layer it with pop, pop rock. Okay. I'm also going to take this high moon. I'm going to take wild thing, which is that color. Try to use most of the colors in the puppet. I'm gonna like run it along the lash line. Main frame. I have a main frame. Okay. And I'm gonna go with black metal. Outer part. Let's try like a like my eyelash or eyeshadow wing. Thing is, y'all have no idea how much that affects my contacts. <laughs> Move around the city. Okay. 
Might be why I can never get a wing straight is because like my contacts move and they have to shift back. Yeah, to clean up just a pinch. So I recommend doing this before your eye makeup or, you know, laying down some powder or be ready with some tissue. <laughs> going to blend everything that we can. Okay. I'm happy-ish with that look. <laughs> All right, moving right along because this video is, oh my gosh, that long. Okay. I just put really long try-on video, bossy charm. Uh, oh, that was, gosh, where am I at? That palette, okay, the It Cosmetics was 24. That is 25, the Glam Metals palette. Very good for a spooky. This is the Pure, the Complexion Authority Bronze and Brighten Cheek palette for $34. And I do like Pure Cosmetics, they are vegan. Um, the best eyeshadows, no, except for when they do color. When they do color, they do color right. These are gorgeous, oh my gosh. So we're going to go with a very glowy look, obviously. Oh, I wanted to try this. I wanted to try this Dugum brush we got in Ricky's yesterday. Okay, I'm going to try this. I'm not a big fan of shiny bronzers, but at least this is not glittery. So I'm going to take that powder brush and see how this goes. I know I'm kind of contouring with it, but it's okay. It's not too warm. At least it's not orange. I don't like this side at all. Marginally better. It's not bad. It's a little glowy, but it's not, it's not bad. Like if you were having a really matte foundation day, I think you would really like that bronzer. Okay. Not bad. You're okay. You okay with me, Pete? Okay. I don't know who Pete is. I'm going to take this brush that I don't know what I last used it for. These are not my regular brushes, they're the ones I keep in here. It's off, I'm just kind of blending that more. Okay, that brush might be a little too light to like blend out that bronzer that I put there. But anyway. I'm feeling this blush is pretty. Okay. Last but not least. This is. These are brushes I have in here. This is a little Ulta brush. I'm just going to take it. Lightly tap into that. And get the freaking cat hair off of it. I swear.
pretty. This is pretty and perfect for spring and summer really because that blush color. No, I guess my little glam rock look on the eyes, but moving on. The last thing, and I'm excited I got this one because I wasn't really interested in the plumpy lip thing. This is the Galactic Matte Lip Paint for $23. And I heard that I think it's a really comfortable formula. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. But I like that packaging. It's so pretty. Alright. It's kind of basic, but it's nice little frosted. So it's Galactic. This is in the color Posh. Or posh, but glam rock at the same time. Smells like a tub of frosting. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is so pretty. And it like glides on like it's thin. But this doe foot holds like a lot of product. And it's thin. So it doesn't, it's not the quickest drying formula. I bet it's not sticky at all. It's already, I think, drying. But it like just, it glided on. Like, wow. It's still drying, but that is pretty. Mmm, I like that color a lot. I don't know about, maybe like a deep summer color, because it's really not spring. I don't know about winter. Like deep summer, fall definitely, in the winter, like you can get away with this through November. Oh, wow, that is such a pretty color. Why, why didn't we get you earlier? Mm -hmm. It does really go with this lip, this eye, so... The eye look and the rest of it goes together like a lot. Mm. I'm still smelling frosting. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Yeah, it's still a little tacky. I mean, not sticky, just like it's still drying. Um. It is drying just a little bit, but oh my gosh, I'm in love with that formula so far. I don't know how it wears, but really good. So that was my very long boxy video. It's been a while since I've had one where I could actually put on the products and use them <laughs> and then take them off in utter disgust. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. Toodles!